25-20, the Lady Maroons who are looking to end a drought that is close to four decades, gets their noses in front in this race by winning itong unang yugto. The first set na punta sa kanila, and the big word that comes out of Charles' mouth over and over again para sa MG errors. Yes, um, Boom, even from where we're sitting right now, we can sense the hesitation coming from the side of the Lady Tamaraos, especially in contrast with the confidence and the amount of positive energy coming from the side of the Lady Maroons. History like might happen today. History might. That's a great point. They look positive. The body language of UP so far here, confident, positive. They're having fun. They don't look tight. We've seen a tight UP team, you know, I know have. how it looks like. And it does not look anything like the team that we're looking at now. On your screens right now, the attacks are almost the same at 10-11. Um, the blocks also at 3-1. and one. But you can really see what's happening here is that Lady Tamarouse had 9 errors as Yon. opposed to the 5 errors of That's the, the one. Lady Maroon. It's That's really that. the one. That's the killer right there. So four more errors that you have made, and you're only five points uh, behind coming from that set. And two, uh, yeah. Yeah, the two service errors at the end, that was big also. Correct. I mean, um, I really see remnants of, of greatness coming from FE. You know, there are plays there na talagang napaka-aggressive. You see Karanda hitting the ball very, very hard. You see also Ginoo with their aces. Pero kulang sa kanila is consistency. Right. They kept you know, put it together oh, and it it. so far, at least. As game one will show you, anything can happen in volleyball. Momentum can switch so quickly. So let's not be premature, but of course for the UP fans, they're very happy that they have a cushion, the one-set lead. One-set lead, and of course momentum on their side. This uh, first set started 4-0 for UP. Humabol ang FEU for all. At mula nun, eh, palitan lang, sagutan lang, hanggang uh, sa dulo, bumitaw. Itong UP Lady Maroon. Ngayon, as you look at Karandang, you mentioned her. Six yes. points in that first uh, set. Very commanding set for Karandang. Very active. Oh, what a find! What a find by the MVP! Such a veteran move coming from your MVP Sabolde. Look at the adjustment in the there. Just the right pace. I think that's also because she plays beach volleyball. That's for sure. She's very cerebral. You can see the whole court. Those are the uh, techniques, obviously. Beach volleyball is not about power, it's about placement, accuracy. And a great thing also about beach volleyball training is you become such a good two way player, too, defensively, offensively, Charles. And it helps you a lot with communication because you're only with the court. You cannot not talk to your partner. And, and your reflexes quicker. And we see a lot of that in, in Pisa Ball there as well. Three, serving two. Oh, yes. These are the youngsters of FPU that when they start getting conditioning and weight training in the successive years, they're going to get stronger and stronger with uh, attacks like that. Right now, Tai Tai on three all except for the two. These are the names now we can really see that will help in their game today, no? Um, Ebon, Karandang. So, nakikita natin na slowly but surely nagsistep up ang mga players coming from the Lady Tamarau. Remember, di biru yung mga nawala sa FBU, obviously. Bernadette Pons, Tony Basas. Yes. Big time names. Big names. But again, sabi nga ni Heather, opportunity yeah, na to uh, para sa mga bata. Saka hindi na bago yun sa collegiate sports eh, yeah. that's really the natural progression of things new stars come out yeah, it's really a volleyball evolution yeah good sign here for FU Charo Silang Abante early in set number 2 again what you need from FU really boom is consistency nandun naman kaya nilang umupensa kaya nilang umupensa we'll see if they're gonna be able to adjust 5-4 let's go to Janine Choi Charo kanina nakausap 
Kong, head coach ng UP Lady Marusa, si Coach Godfrey Okuhu. At talagang excited na excited siya because as what you guys said, this is UP's first finals appearance after many, many years. Aminado siya na kahit pa paano ramdam niya ang pressure. Pero sinabi niya, at binigyang diin niya na hindi sila dapat magpa-distract because what Coach Godfrey wants is for the UP Lady Marusa to control the pace of this world and not the other way around. Mataas ang respeto at mataas ang paghanga ni Coach Godfrey sa FU Lady Tamros because alam niya na very skilled and very competitive din sila. Kaya nga ang sinabi niya, we already have this chance and we badly want to win this. So in every set, we'll try our best to reach 25 before our opponent. Blik sa inyo, Boom at Charo. A really nice story about Coach uh, Gotti. I will tell that a little later. But thank you very much, Janine. Uh, what he has meant to the UP team, not only this year, last year, but in previous years that he was helping Coach Jerry Yi setting up the camps, setting up all the uh, other training uh, that they've been doing, whether it's in Japan, whether it's in Baguio. And I remember the conversation two years ago when he was just helping out the team. Wow. And he was saying that he believes this team is destined for a championship and he will not leave the team, he said. I will not give up on this team and leave the team and not stop helping this team until we win a championship. Little did he know, a year after he takes over as a head coach, and I told him, Coach, I guess you have no choice now. You can't really leave the team now. And now they're in the finals. Let's see if what he said is merely Woo! forecasting. It's quite providential that they are here right now, Boom. Seven, and you see six. the team, the young team, they're playing with so much gusto. But apart from that, I think it's also respect coming from these players. FDU is a good team. FDU is a champion team. So, sila pwede maging complacent. Hindi sila pwede maging lax. But FDU can really honestly just steal the show away from them. Rosie Rogier, when she talks to you, she can't harm a fly. <laughs> Pero pag pumalo, pag maganda yung set sa kanya, like the last two, boy, can she, can she unleash. 7-6 is our score. Lamang na dito, UP. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice style set. right now at 7-all. Villarreal. It's gonna be the combination place that will also set the pace for the Lady Tamaraos in this game. Because all the blockers of UP, they're all looking at the man-to-man -man block. So if Kyle Negrito is able to give or activate the middle blockers a lot with just one block from the Lady Maroons, then mas mataas ang probability nilang First technical timeout of set number two. And the Lady Maroons are ahead. Back inside the Philoi Flying V Center, part of the old UP Lady Maroons. Sorry, when I say old, I mean the former, former. Magagalit sa akin si Miss Joy niya, eh. I have no right. I covered your career, Charo. Um, and of course, Senator Pia. Uh, avid fans and avid believers, and uh, they have, uh, you know, they were super competitive. I remember Miss Joy telling stories about when they UP back then. They eh, were all in their So, you know, those were the days and they want that again. They want that UP team back that can intimidate opponents from the very start. Again, that's something that I love about sports, no? It really brings people back. That is out this time. All is out. And that's the thing I feel like Rosie has to develop eventually. She's so young. There's a lot of developing to to uh, to do for uh, Rosie. And I think I feel like yung develop yung makatulad yung charo na kahit hindi maganda yung set mahakapag adjust. Right now, when the set is perfect, she can knock that ball down. When it's not perfect. Don't push any rapid to get just. Yes, um, she will learn that yeah, with sure. exposure, with game exposure, and of course more confidence. But you're right, boom. Matapasin natin na kapag magandang bigay kay kay Roslyn Rosier, it's almost all the time a point. Pas, pasong porcento. Yes. That's what we're talking about. But you also mentioned if it's a, a shoot set 
or if it's not the perfect one that she likes. And she needs to be able to learn how to adjust as well. 10-8, you gotta begin somewhere. And uh, she has great building Service. blocks for the Lady Maroons. FE recovering here and recovering with the lead again. They're gonna get a chance ball here, a high ball. You know, it's check. Buding is there as always. Hernandez unable to get it through. Oh! First and Miss second centers. Nine. Lack of communication. What went on there, Jaro? Again, it's really mental error. It's when you hesitate and you don't um, become in control of the ball. That's when, normally more or less, no? that's when you're not going to be able to get it that time, uh, Heather Ginoa was there. She knows, she acknowledges that it was her ball. Pero nakita niya na nandun na yung libero. So, you really need to be more communicative. Blocking of UP also has been good. Balde again Balde. down the line. Kayuna was there, but could not handle the lakas, velocity. We have to give credit also to the adjustment in the difference pattern of FEU. Uh, they are listening to coach. They're doing defense yeah. pattern too. They're also protecting the down the line. But that hit of Isa Molde was just too hard too and hard, too strong yeah. for them to handle. Jaron Teng in attendance here at the Pillow Flying B Center. Off speed, but Layug is still there with her outstretched arms. Esther Nero opens up the Molde and puts Molde it away. Off the ball. 11, 10. We have talked UB. about this. You cannot oh, give an one. easy ball in the middle of the court to UP. And if it's a low ball like that, more or less you're going to get a combination play and you're going to have one blocker against them. So they have to be pretty smart if they're going to put the ball back uh, to the side of the Lady Maroons. Good serve. And again, a tough first ball, which means easy take. Wow. And a point they're given to UP there. Well, it's a ten. Coach uh, George, uh, I can't uh, paint this his face right now at about expression <laughs> although we cannot paint his face we can almost sense <laughs> yes um that sort of disappointment because right. it's been a series of errors again coming from feu another free ball as we look at some twitter comments here Don Castillo says go says go feu game three please which will happen on saturday watching from uh, Puerto Galera, Bayon. I'm sorry. I, yes, I yeah. I was watching from Chile, and he was saying hi to his Puerto Galera friends. Talk about that, all the At way from Puerto Yes, Sawadika. Sawadika. To everybody there in Thailand, Sawadi Tonyen Ka. Game three, please. Yeah, neto pala Saba. Puerto Galera. Plus watching one. from Alaska. Ah, and saying hello to people in Puerto Galera. Yes. Yeah. Mukang marami tayong friends from Puerto Galera, Bu. Ikaw, marami ka, buong bayan, buong bansa. Sansang ka na nakarating. Of course, join the conversation. PVL on ABS-CBN is our hashtag. And uh, don't forget, we are streaming live on the number one sports website in the Philippines, sports.abs-cbn.com slash livestream slash PVL, youtube.com slash ABS-CBN sports. It's a one-point game. FEU is behind Service. by only one. So nakita naman natin na kaya kaya nilang dumikit despite the many errors that they have here well, in this set. Yes. Yes. Is that out? It is long. out. We're tied at 13. That's two consecutive hitting errors coming from the Lady Maroons. Tignan natin kung anong gagawin nila na adjustment ngayon. Service. Piloy Flying B Service. Center. Game number two and game number three, if we have one, will be on Saturday. Buitre. It's a push. Oh, making something out of nothing there, John. Yes. That's a very oh, smart a move touch. coming from Isa Molde. We've talked about how she has grown um, as a player and she has become more cerebral. And of course, we've seen that she did. Well, you're right. It's really, it should have been a point. Uh, for the FEU, but she was there. She saved that ball, and also she got that. She got another point for her team. Oh, see FEU smile here a little yes, bit. You know, they true. really look so tense and sometimes disappointed and frustrated. Got to pick up the uh, the positivity here 
because they're in this match, Chavo. They're only down by one. And it's actually a tight game for them both. So you're right. This game is far from over for the Lady Tamarals. They can't get a set. They just need, really need to be more aggressive and they need to be able to be more consistent as well. Malabanan. Negrito. Sumenyas kay Gino. Mataas masyado. Oh, what a play! Holden! Combination! The block. 15. It was a combination play given to Lady Maroons and the Lady Maroons also did their own version of a combination play. But what's good here is... Yes, I have to say, it's really yung block talaga nila. Pag nabalikan sila ng mabilis na bola ang Lady Maroons, they're very quick. Um, yes, mag-counter. Another opportunity for UP here who have a one-point lead. Uh-oh. And at a rare win at the net by FEU was Ebon who will be credited for that point on the joust. I actually thought that should have been a double play. It was also Ebon who got the first ball and it was Ebon who... Yes. So, so let's see. Um, I think Coach Godfrey is also contesting that. that. Uh, referee Eusebio, our first referee. Regardless, UP is in the lead 16 to 15, and Coach Gotti still continuing to talk to Relindo Eusebio on the other side. Babalik po tayo dito sa loob ng Phil Oil Flying Bee Center. Ito yung mga awardees natin kanina, individual awards. And uh, there you go. Elisoyud, Aiganapan, San Domingo, Igao, at si, we look at Sir Dino Lorena from ABS-CBN Sports, and of course, Mr. Bert Apis, business unit head for the Premier Volleyball League. Big volleyball fan. We uh, text about volleyball conversations <laughs> a lot, second, Sir Burbs and Sir uh, Dino. Yes, they're very, very supportive sa PBL. Uh, let me just complete the list. Ano? Of course, Bernadette Flora also won second best spiker earlier. Uh, sino pa nito na uh, Tony uh, Ponce, ang ating best libero, best setters. Igao from Adamson University also. Yes, the names to watch out for in the upcoming UAAP boom. Right. And by the way, speaking of those players and Adamson University who won in four sets earlier, if I'm not mistaken, as Rozier goes cross court with a perfect Rozier. set again. <laughs> Lumi East. <laughs> Lumi East. Ito, natin. Oh. Perfect set. And look at the wrist. Perfect angle also. Very good height. So, Jeremy was not uh, prepared for that. defense. No idea what UP ang masakit. It's towards the uh, right after the middle of the set. So UP is looking to pull away after this 3 0 run here. Malabanan unable to put it away. Reverse, and that's a check ball. Yes, that's a ball touch. Check ball for Marian, and that's another point for the Lady Maroons. They're now up by four. The second set of this final series. I was uh, talking about Adamson University, who won in four sets earlier. They lost in five sets against UST in their best of three series. If UP wins today. Yeah. That means they finish their series and they end up champions. They tow Adamson University and they will end up, because of a superior quotient, they will end up as automatic third 
Blazers. So we know PBL. we know who Adamson will be really cheering for yeah. in this game. So they really wanted to finish that match earlier in four sets. They were down, by the way, yes. at four points, if I'm not mistaken, and they came back. In the meantime, that's a ball touch. Apat ang abante after that point. 16, 20. Call from the referee. Nakita naman niya kung ano nangyari. Napol ni Molde. Great court awareness. Negrito. Sa likod, pero medyo pa-atras yung set. Rogier. Huding. Kyle. Pinalikan si Net. Free ball. Huding. Kyle goes to Malapanan. Two players on her. And a denial at the net. Vindred. Again, there's really a lot of hesitation sa movement ng Lady Camera House. And you can really see it. Uh, they have a lot of time to get to the ball. Pero ang, ang nangyayari, Bumes, tinitingnan pa nila yung isa't isa before they move. Yes. Uh, this is the biggest lead of this set. 21-16. Negrito. Buitre. Ball is up. That was a good block coming from Jeremy Malabanan. Met to malapit ang set coming from his ball there, but it's a good thing that they were there. They were able to position themselves rather well for that block, and it's now four points. There's still four points behind. Oh, not the right time. Well, there's really no right time for service error, but this is even worse. Again, yun yung nakakababa ng moral boom. The momentum is already slowly um, getting to your side, and then you make an error. And a service error is more demoralizing. Yes. You know, it's so big because he. They say that when they error, the player is the first one to get The smarter players don't look at the coach. Yeah. <laughs> Alamayan. That's true. Alamayan. You cannot see it. Not really. <laughs> 23-17 FEU with a crucial timeout here. Guys, we need to get focus. We need to get focus. That's the problem. It's just that you think about the fight. We react to what we're doing in the fight. We need to get focus. We need to get focus. We need to get focus. We need to lose the fight. Don't worry, we're not going to finish at 23. Don't worry, we're going to show the gesture in the fight that we're going to fight. Parang binibigyan sila ng idea paano kayo nabalik. Pasok ko pa rin tayo. You are right. I like what Coach George said there to his team. He really reminded them to be composed and of course have focus. And the number one thing is huwag na huwag kayo magpapakita ng doubt. Or huwag kayo papakita sa kalaban na nararadal kayo. But somebody, people from UP, they're so hungry for this win. They will eat you alive if they see some sort of weakness coming from your cup. Ayo, in a quick game. Perfect example. As I mentioned, UP set point. now and set point. And it, it, it goes back to our conversation, Charo, na yung body language ng FEU eh. Kung ikaw yung kalaban, nakikita mo, we're gonna, we're gonna bounce on this. Now, set point. UP looking to go two sets to love. No room for error for FEU. The question is, can they turn it around? Whether it's in this set or in the next. They're fighting for their PVL lives. And the youngster puts it away. And UP is one set away from a championship that has eluded them for 36 painful years. We'll be back.